Hey, we're playing the Hell Divers today. We just have to get Horton in here, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so let's see. Um, how do I? That's right. Social. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. Okay, stream is up. My friend code. My code is H six eight zero dash two eight zero zero. See it on the stream if you pull it up. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, now we just got to get Horton in here and test the audio and see that we can actually get the chat working on here. Ooh, almost. Yeah, that's not good. We're going to keep these on. Ugh. All right. All right, let's see. Get the friends. Hey, look at that. We got these in here, too. All right, and now we're literally just waiting for the Horton to send the friend request, and that's it. And then... Hopefully, hopefully the audio works. We're going to test it out. I don't know. We're going to try. We're going to see. I'm not, I'm not even going to post a streaming notification until, uh, until we know whether the audio is working or not. Because it feels like a little pointless if we don't. Because it feels like... However, we do have all these emotes, which is amazing. So funny. Get the bear in there. <laughs> uh, I can entertain myself endlessly with these. Hey, there we go. Also, Horton, you should have uh, access to all of the new emotes in the chat. Should have should full access to every single one. Yes, except so. Please wait democratically. I love that. That's funny. Are you... Alright, how, how long do I have to wait democratically? <laughs> oh, I love them. I love them. They look so good in there. Can I... Can I close out of this menu and then... No, it's still, still, still loading. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I know I'm on the wired Ethernet connection, so I know it's not my internet that's the problem here. Oh. Is that, is that you? Yeah, she, um, uh, Hello? 
Oh, shit! I can hear you and everything. Can you hear me? Hello? Interesting. Yeah, that's me. Can you hear me, dude? I can hear you. You can't hear me, though? Hey! Uh, I can't. I don't... Oh, can I? Give me a sec. Let me see. I might have to... Let's see. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah let I'm me... You're coming through stream, buddy. How about now? Can, can you hear me now? Oh, hello. Say that again. Can you hear me now? I can indeed, yes. There we go. Hey. Cool. <laughs> hey, look at <laughs> that. It works. Thieves. I was going to say, you will hear thieves talking in the background, but... Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Hi, yeah. thieves. Sage says hi. I don't oh, know if you heard that. I, I did, I did. And also, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> and by the way, you should you should tell Phoebes, uh Neon Genesis Evangelion might be one of the next anime that we have to review mm -hmm. soon. Phoebes, yeah. so, um, you know, I told you that Sage has been doing anime reviews on someone's channel. The next one he might have to do is uh, Neon Genesis. <laughs> she says, ooh. <laughs> Hell yeah, there we go. Yeah, you know, I I, it's, I haven't seen all four of the more recent movies, hmm. but uh, I, I watched the, the whole series a long time ago. Oh, I I watched a little bit as Phoebes watched it. <laughs> I I never actually sat down and watched it all. I'd like peer over and I'd be like, right, what what's happening with this person? And she'd like give me the rundown. So it's one that I still need to actually sit down and go all the way through so I can actually get the gist of it a bit better. But it, it seemed interesting. It's really interesting. And it's not super long either, which is also nice. Oh, oh yeah, no, that, that I'm happy about. Um, I, where is it? The one thing that I will say is like a negative for it, which, you know, again, it's 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 not like a ruin the show thing or anything. But yeah. one thing for me is that there is a lot of there's a lot of really interesting uh, lore and mythology that isn't presented like directly in the actual show. It's like, oh. yeah, like I like I had to I had to like I like I went and I read the whole manga and that explained some things that aren't clarified in the show. But then some of it I had to read like just straight up like lore, like wiki pages to fully. Oh, wow kind of understand because some of it like it some of it's just not presented directly in the narrative anywhere which is th that's like my one thing and i i'm I, that that's kind of that's why i also really actually do want to watch the four movies that are kind of yeah. like the sequel series because i'm wondering if those maybe um Maybe those actually clarify so if you watch the show and then watch those movies yeah. Maybe it gives you the more full picture. Yeah, because I know that if the the I, I remember Steve saying the series finished, and then there was a movie or two that actually rounded off the series itself, or gave yes. it a better ending and explained bits a bit better. Uh, but that that's literally that is that is the uh, that is my knowledge. That, so really it's much. it's funny the so they actually ran out of budget like really hard. Mm. Um, at the at the end of the show so like the last two episodes are like it's all just taking place in someone's head and it like you're not seeing anything that's really happening but you're just seeing like this like weird kind of poorly drawn uh I version of like how their mind processes what's happening um yeah. and even the people making the show were not happy about <laughs> how that ended up happening um oh god and uh, and then uh, in the so so then a few years later in I believe ninety seven, yeah. uh, they released a movie called The End of Evangelion, which is literally meant to take the place of the last two episodes. Like you can you watch huh? the show, just don't even watch the last two episodes and go watch the movie instead of the last two episodes. Oh, okay. I will. Uh... That. And granted, you could also watch the last two episodes if you're just curious to see how yeah. how that was how it was done and how it was different. But yeah, 
support. Okay, them. I was going to say, when it comes to like watching and not watching stuff, when it comes to anime, it's it's always Full Metal Alchemist. Never watch Full Metal Alchemist. Only watch Brotherhood. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one goes hard off the rails at a certain point. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just the ending of that was. Like I remember, I remember enjoying it because I didn't know much about. Like I didn't, I never read any of the um, Full Metal stuff, and I remember enjoying it to a certain point, and then it got to the end. I was like, "This is this is the shittest way to end yeah. this entire story." And then yeah, got to watch Brotherhood, and I was like, "Yeah, do you know what? This this is perfect. I'm good. I'm happy." <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. I yeah, this is. I barely know what I'm doing. I've only sat down to play this game one other time. Uh, and I was I was joining in someone else's game, and it, not at all, uh, like kind of ch- charging through myself. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's so because uh, I've done the introduction, and that's it. <laughs> so we'll just do a quick play here. <laughs> and we'll just do just do a random little quick play. There we go. Yeah, I'm good for whatever. And then we could do a team of four too. So if we, if uh, if at some point, um, yeah. afternoon tune or Cal four. Or... Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna. Can I. Oh. Looks like we. Oh. So looks like we got someone else playing yeah. in here with us. Okay. I'm gonna try and go and mute mute them just to. See. Well, can I not do that? Um, uh, let's see. Oh, what am I doing? Let's see. Ah. Uh, I really like my. Precision strike and strike good. Um, but yeah, all right, Neon Gen- I do. It does look like Berserk might win over Neon Genesis, but I might. I might end up watching both and just being like, "All right, well now I'm prepared for both, regardless of which one wins." Mm-hmm. Alright. Slapping down there. <laughs> yeah, hey! So I know that I, there's like a high five in here somehow. I don't I remember exactly how to do it, but. Oh, that would be cool. This is, uh. Yeah, let's see. Ah! <laughs> I, it, you, it's so easy to get accidentally killed by this. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, get my anti-tank. So there's some big, ooh. big bugs that you have to like use that to blow the armor off of. Hell yeah! Oh, that was cool. Also, I don't know about you, but because uh, you, you played the little tutorial kind of section that they had, but. Yeah, I felt like the kind of motion of the shooting in this and the way that the character kind of turns and, and dives on the ground felt a lot like the control scheme of Max Payne 3, actually. Oh, 3 is the one I have. On... Yeah, no, I haven't played 3 yet. But I, it, s- I see it like it, it feels, it does look very Max Payne. Yeah, it's there's just something about the motion of it. Um, it does yeah. And it's like So far, very impressed. It looks very nice. Usual strategy. It's also here. basically a Starship Troopers game. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Back off there. Oh, no, it might be fish. Yeah, it's fish. There is 
Oh, well, that is, that is a lot of bugs. Oh, we got crabs. It's never fun to catch space crabs. There is also uh, very much so friendly fire in this game, so definitely be careful of that. Yeah, I was wondering, considering your pod can hurt me, I was like, eh, do I want to risk shooting when someone runs in front of me? <laughs> Probably not. I'm not gonna lie, this is, this is a very pretty game. I know, it's, yeah, it's visually just gorgeous. It is. Alright, using free. Okay, yeah, no. That's already been done. Waypoint. Over here. Huh. Ooh, computer terminal. Oh, okay, climbing. I hit him as well at the same time. What the? So I, hear, I, hear some, I hear some character in game screaming ever. Everybody okay? Yeah, this guy <laughs> that we joined beat me. Oh uh, yeah, they they these two these two probably know what they're doing better than we do. Yeah, if if we're being completely honest. Yeah. I will count on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of them. And also uh to our to our uh uh the other two players yeah. here, uh, mm -hmm. you'll probably hear us talking a lot because uh we are also live streaming. At the moment, so uh, just just to make just so you're aware, I figure I'd give you the heads up. Nice. Oh crap! Can't do it. Yeah, Ooh. saw that coming. I got you. Oh. Yeah, I forgot all my buttons for a second. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Like I said, I only I've really only sat and played this one other time. And I was just kind of being led around by by people who knew yeah. what was going on much better than I did. Yeah, that's fair. But uh, yeah, well, what uh, gosh, what what have you been? What have you been playing? What have you been watching in the last week or so, or two weeks, I guess, since we streamed? Uh, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite. Oh yeah, they yeah. added any. What's the new thing in Fortnite? Uh, the new battle pass is, uh, Ancient Greek, actually. Oh, that's interesting. Usually it's like yeah. a, like a yeah. pop culture IP or piece of media. Yeah, so oh, it's well, interesting they, they for it a, to be. I was going to say, they're, uh, they're doing a big thing with Lady Gaga at the moment, I know that much. Which Lady Gaga and the Greek about. gods, that's a, what a crossover. <laughs> yeah! So yeah, they got Greek god stuff going on, so you can, like, I think they're, you've got, like, godly bananas, which give you slow health. <laughs> um, okay. You've got like uh, the battle pass consists of some Greek gods and uh, oh shit, like, fire you know, like, tornado! That's new. That oh, was that not at the game the last time I played it. Yeah, that sounds you, dirty. We better not get in the way of those because those are some nasties. I believe it. Oof. Look at them. I know. That, yeah, I, I saw something about uh, a post about weather, a oh. few different weather effects being added to the game. I said fire tornadoes is one. I want to say there's at least one or two more of them. Okay, this is yeah. cool. Fire tornadoes pretty bad, but the iron storms are worse because those block your strength. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's no good. Oh, but yeah, for for me, I've just been like pushing and pushing to try and finish Hunter Hunter to do, be able to do oh, that yeah. review over at the afternoon tune, and it's just been oh, what a slog! What oh, a slog God. it has been. Oh, ah! Oh God! Oh no! Another fire, Nato. The 
Just gotta watch out I don't get roasted. <laughs> Oh yeah, these things are. No. I thought I was going to be able to get through that, but I messed up. Well, it's a learning experience. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> this is uh, it's definitely an experience. <laughs> I am like, let's see, let's see if I can go around the side, get over to the. Like it's locked by a giant wall. <laughs> oh, done. Like, it will happen. It will happen. Yeah, it happens it's... to be on my on my very first team games. So. Oh no! <laughs> Welcome to hell, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, if there's a game where something falls from the sky and can crush you, I'm pretty sure I just, I, it's like it just magically sucks me in. It's like falling off a ledge in any of the Dark Souls games. It's just gonna happen. Oh god, I don't need I don't even need to be in a Dark Souls game for that. <laughs> that's just that's just real life. Yeah, pretty well I played Tomb Raider, got distracted by something in chat and just jumped off the edge for no good reason. I was like, alright then. Funny, I think it happened to me in Untitled Ghoul's game. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> well there you go. <laughs> well, just my luck, I guess. Alright. Uh I'm going Oh no! Oh no! Oh, Fine, oh, oh, oh. No! 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 Not for you, stay boy. Who is it that's? Ah, uh, uh, where's the reinforce? <laughs> there it is. Yeah, this is a yeah. spicy. Oh, very. Oh god! Oh, that was too close. It's like the day after too much Taco Bell. <laughs> okay, so what do we go? Turn all the valves indicated by the terminal. Oh. oh, this guy knows what he's doing, I think. Is that... is that on here? So two of them are... Uh, oh. Oh, one B blocks. We just got to find out where the hell it is. Oh, oh no, no, it's a big boy. Yeah. Oh, and a lot of small asses. I will say, for doing the reviews over at the Afternoon Tune, it has been nice to take a, a little bit of a break from Hunter Hunter uh, and watch through oh, yeah. Berserk, which I have started doing preemptively, because it seems like that's going to win. Now, yo, Horton, you have not ever watched that, right? Uh, what, Berserk? Yeah. yeah. No, no. I get told it, a lot of good stuff. It's it's a great story. There's some rough things in there that are not necessarily the most pleasant thing to watch, but you can always say that it is a good story, and it it doesn't do what it does for shock value as well. Hmm. I was gonna that's say, actually, sure. of, that's actually one of the few mangas that can say that. Yeah, yeah it, that's uh, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. I think a lot of. It, it totally is. I mean, a lot of, uh, I think a lot of manga and anime, um, over, over time has taken so much inspiration from Berserk and will often kind of see the graphic sexual content in Berserk and feel the need to have it, but without tying it into some sort of thematic purpose for actually being present in the story. They'll just do it because, hey, Berserk did it, so let's do it. But it, 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 you don't see it actually like resonating with character development and being important to the story. I mean, I'd say Berserk as the, the story is about the recovery of the recovery from sexual trauma. Like that, that to me is the purpose of the story. 
the 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 idea of there being a light at the end of the tunnel and there there's a there's a place to get and to go even after that sort of like life is still yeah. worth living kind of thing um yeah. And yeah, I think a lot of anime just are like, oh, let's just throw sexual content in, because, uh, you know, yeah. why not? Yeah. Yeah, yeah what's your witness fan service? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Much. Because I've gotten to the point where a lot of fans, like, it just, to me, it's just like, yeah, that's anime, that's Japanese, like... It just, it just happens. all of it, just, yeah, just the majority of it, I'm just like, eh, like, I'm just pretty numb to it nowadays. Yeah. Hey, oh. we did nothing! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we my maybe... motto of I'm trying comes into play here. <laughs> and I got eliminated, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that big one vomited right on me. Oh, yeah, no, same. It was, uh, that was brutal. Yeah! Alright, so where's this, uh, where's this evac? Oh, he puked on me again. <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, that's one of the reasons why, um, I loved Attack on Titan so much, because it didn't, it didn't do that fan service stuff at all. Yeah. It completely stayed away from it. Yeah. No, no I do like it when it does, like, I don't know, it, it's a hard one. Like... Uh You've got some fan service, which is like, I say fan service, like, you got a lot of pervy moments in some of them, and some of them can play it off like, okay, no, like, that is like, there is a reason behind it, and other, most of the time it's just, now nah, I'm a pervert, and it's like, eh. Yeah, I mean, like, I, like, I, I can be okay with the character that is, like, like, very sexualized, depending on the context. Deceptive Panda says, tell Horton to keep it down. I can hear him through Phoebe's headset with a wink, oh, winky so. face. <laughs> What's up, Deceptive Panda? I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> He's always having a good day. <laughs> he gets to bully me in two different ways now. God. Good grief, that's big. I'm dead. Yeah, welcome in, Deceptive Fan. I hope, yeah, I hope you're having a good one. Welcome into the chat. Um, but yeah, like, um, like there's actually a specific name for that too. It's called the uh, Eki, which is like it's like the kind of overly perverse, kind of sexual, hypersexual characters in the anime. It's like it's the Eki trope, and. Uh, like, I think, it, I, again, I think that you can have stuff like that work, depending on the context. Like, I think uh, Chainsaw Man is a good example, where the character in that yeah. is, like, super pervy, and is, like, all about, like, I just want to get laid, and, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, like, in Chainsaw Man, there's an interesting uh, specific purpose in the narrative for it, where you have this person who's, like, basically never spent any time around other human beings at all, let yeah. alone women. Uh, and, and until, like, the age of, what, 17, and then all of a sudden he's around all these people that are using his kind of desperation for affection to manipulate him. And it ends up, I think, with Chainsaw Man, it's, it's actually an interesting kind of sad way of using that sort of trope because the whole story is about how he he does he doesn't even really understand what he wants. He doesn't un, he yeah. doesn't know how to express it. He wants genuine affection, but he doesn't yeah. know that that's what he's looking for. So he just yeah. sees he just is like, oh, let me ask for physical affection, and then every interaction he has with other human beings ends up being transactional and just kind of sad. And I think that so like there's a way that you can have these elements and tell an interesting story with them. Um, yeah. That's a great example of one. But oftentimes I don't think that much effort is is, is put in. <laughs> Stand back. Had to do it just for the uh... Oh nice. Hell yeah. Okay, that was pretty cool. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, let me get my oh. Well, that's alright. <laughs> oh! It was a nice try, anyway. Yeah. 
Back in. Yeah, it's got not a, bad. Got a thunder gun it. <laughs> yeah, but we got a shipload of big ones at the, the end here, so. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, hurry. Oh, reload, reload, reload. Can we get back? Can we get on? I'm on. Just get in. Get in. Ooh, there we go. Nicely done. Digital high fives. Ah. Woo! I tried. I definitely tried. <laughs> Good, great. Only bad I got a trophy of some extracts from a mission during night time. See, that's how little I've played of this game. <laughs> I didn't, even have, didn't even have that until now. Nice. Yeah, this is a this is a this is a fun one. This is definitely a fun one. It makes me uh, I haven't done it yet, but since this came out, I've been having a little bit of an itch to go back and replay Starship Troopers or uh, rewatch oh. Starship Troopers. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't blame you to be honest with you. That movie was fantastic. Have, have you ever read way. the book? No, I haven't. The book no, is. I didn't even know there was a book. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, Paul Verhoeven adapted uh, uh, from this. It's a pretty short novel. Uh, the book, I want to say, hmm. came out. And, uh, I actually don't remember. The book might be, might even anywhere between the 50s to the 70s. It's a, it's a long stretch of time, but I, I genuinely don't remember when the book came out. But oh, wow. it was... Um, it, it The book is interesting. It's different. It's, yeah. it's definitely got a different feel to it. Um... You, it, it's it's more like both the movie and the book have that that elements of satire, right? For sure, they they have the some of that that same thing. But the book is like more of of a kind of inner narrated experience of being a foot soldier in a war, on like a day to day kind of feel. Yeah. Whereas, uh, obviously, the movie is, it tells a much more kind of complete, full narrative about, like, the whole sequence of the war and the whole... Yeah. You know, it's it, it's it, it's interesting. It's it's a short book, too, though. It's it's not long. It's, like, probably only, like, 170, 200 pages, maybe, something like that. Okay. It's good stuff, though. It's good, it's good, good, good political satire, for sure. And you could you could just feel every inch of this game just dripping with <laughs> Starship Troopers. Now I actually have uh, I'd be curious to go back and play the first game because I never played Helldivers one. It was like a top down twin stick from what I remember. Yeah, yeah. And I don't even know if it's multiplayer actually. But Not uh a clue, to be honest with you. It'd be, it'd be interesting to go check it out and just see. Let's see, can I unlock anything? Oh. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, no, not yet. No, okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna let. The, I'm gonna let these guys choose the mission because I. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I woke up today not knowing what was going on, so we're all good. <laughs> I try to think what. Oh, I'll tell you what I have been playing recently is the. Uh, <laughs> as bad as it sounds, I've been playing the uh, the PS2 version of Harry Potter. PS2 Harry Potter, okay. Which uh, was yeah. specific movie or? Oh, whoops. Uh, Chamber of Secrets. Button. Interesting. I 
I remember playing some of those as a kid back in the day, but yeah. I uh, <laughs> I could not tell you. I, you know, I had. I think I had. Um, I think I had the Chamber of Secrets for the Game Boy Advance, actually. Oh wow! Yeah, I um, I saw them in a. We got like a trade-in shop, um, over here, and. I saw them and I went in there with uh, walked into town with my daughter. I accidentally fell into this trading shop. Saw that they had uh, Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner Azkaban on PS2, along with another game called Haven, uh, Call of the King. I remember playing I... all three when I was younger. Um, and the Harry Potter games I used to play with my best mate from school. So like, got a lot of nostalgia. Um, yeah. All those came home and I was I, I literally pulled the PS2 out. I was like, yeah, let's do this. My God, <laughs> I we. Kids nowadays are privileged to have a controller where the joysticks aren't janky and everything moves seamlessly <laughs> because it is it has been horrifying playing on PS2 joysticks. <laughs> well, what's, is this the first time you've gone back and played on a PS2 in like a long time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah, really is, especially moving with the joystick. I think the last game I played on my PS2 was a PS1 game, and I didn't use the joystick for that. Oh, okay. So, you know, uh, I yeah. think I think the controller that I have the hardest time going backwards in, in using is the Nintendo 64. <laughs> oh yeah, the 64 controller was it was I've got to give it to Nintendo though. All of their controllers just seem to have the weirdest layouts, but somehow they work. I'm going to disagree about the Nintendo 64. <laughs> I think I all the other that. ones, yes, but but that one I have a bone to pick with. Yeah, because it's like it's got the three the three hand bits, and you're like, okay, so I hold it with both the outside ones. No, no, you got to hold with the middle one. It's like, but why? That 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 is for a person with a third thumb. So you can go... Yes, no, it definitely is. It's like the one that got me was the GameCube with the the little C stick. Sure, which sure. Was just which was just a stick. It didn't have like it didn't have a dome on top. It didn't have like an in cave. It didn't have like an actual thumb pad it was just a stick so after you played it like certain games for a while you just have this indent of the letter c on your thumb <laughs> that's funny that's funny like almost like uh, a fingerprint <laughs> yeah no i'm not even like playing ocarina of time and you have to use that for the um for the songs that was uh that was interesting hey tiresome fox is in the chat tiresome fox Hello, how are you? Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Also, we have 10 brand new emotes in the chat, and you should have access to all of them with your channel subscription. There's a box of cats in there in particular I think you'll like. They've done so well with the environments in this game. Oh, it's gorgeous. This game is, is beautiful. Hey, there it is. The box of kitties. Oh. Yeah, that one's that one's uh because Ulysses and Alex on the Tuesday streams ha have relentlessly made fun of me for having too many cats. <laughs> so so a box of cats is where that came from. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got two different we got two different dog ones. <laughs> yep, and then you got the spider lady in there, which for some reason is the new thing that they've decided to dig in dig on me about, which I, I, yeah. I still don't know where that... I don't know how that started, and I don't know where it came from, and how this channel got a Sages into Spider Ladies as a running joke. But somehow that happened. Uh, someone obviously knows all your secrets. I, but I just, like, I never, I never gave any indication. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to find, to see you're finally comfortable with who you are. God damn it. <laughs> That, that, yeah, <laughs> we support you. Well, I, I do, I do appreciate that. I do appreciate the the support. And also, uh, to our two other players, if you if you find us uh, in, in, are incessant talking, annoying, please feel free to mute us and don't feel like like you have to listen to what we're saying. <laughs> 
I've been muted more times than uh, I can count in many situations. So. <laughs> also, turned down. I'm a very loud human, so like I get turned down in Discord a lot. It's funny because often your uh, your audio is on the quieter end when we're streaming. Yeah, no, I still don't understand that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's it's actually this game and not having an issue with that. Um, hey. But the but the uh, on the Xbox for some reason it's I mean, that might just be the Xbox being I just, stupid. It's Microsoft. That's yeah, just it's Microsoft. Microsoft. Yeah. Tell them about the gospel of the spider ladies. Don't be afraid to share. I just I don't I don't know I don't know what I, I, I feel when, when the spider lady jokes really start rolling in. I feel like I'm just sitting here silently while well Ulysses and Alex dig in about them because I don't I don't even know how to respond to those comments anymore. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna accidentally shoot one of them and blow myself to sky high. I, I definitely blown myself up so many times. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw a uh, an explosive barrel in like some compound. Of course, there's always one that it misses. <laughs> of course. But, uh, Tyson Fox, how, uh, how are you doing? What are you up to? What, uh, what you've been playing, watching? To... Oh, we got Ulysses in the chat. All right, so now someone's here to make the Spider Lady comments. Sage is lusting for Spider Woman again. Didn't know this was that kind of game. It's not, and I'm not, God damn it. <laughs> But you do have a spider lady emote you can you can spam in the chat now, so. Oh, you got people on you. I, I feel like at some point I'm going to regret giving that to people, but. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Act also. That's true. That's true. But also, <laughs> for, uh, for, for anyone in the chat, uh, Cal Forer is. <laughs> yep, there they are. Uh, Cal Forer is a fantastic streamer who. We wouldn't have any of these emotes if not for him. He, he very much uh, made sure that these were uh, complete and uh, in good quality to actually use and put on the channel. Uh, so big, big, big thank you to him. I'll, I will continue to, to push people towards towards his. Just crossed 400 recently, I think. So congrats to that guy. Yeah, that's awesome. Congrats. And I've actually noticed uh, uh, we, we, this channel, we've started going up a little bit more again, too, number-wise, nice. recently. He's done more for the channel than we ever have. <laughs> that's honestly hilariously true in a, in, a, in a certain way. I really haven't, like, done much to customize or add things to the channel. Um, like, I, I really need to, like, add sound alerts and and, like, put things on the channel for people to use. Things for, uh, like, people to redeem their channel points with. Even just having, like, a uh, even honestly, even just having some like uh, sound alerts for like raids or or mm -hmm. subscriptions going off, even even just that is something I, I should really really try and do. I'm good, still reading a lot and been playing some uh, Pal World slash Lethal Company with friends. Been bit too busy with work to really play anything by myself. Well, hey, uh, you, you got some game time in still, though, and you're reading, so it's, it sounds like you still are occupying your your personal time with something that you're enjoying, so that's still awesome, though. Yeah. What, uh, what, uh, what are you reading at the moment? Oh. Was this only just Uh, he's out here. 
my my subscription is worth it if I can make fun of Sage for loving those spider ladies. <laughs> well, there you go. Right. I mean, well, yeah, we also I need, I need to start getting things redone for mine. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it feels good to have some stuff in there though. It really does, and I'm and I'm like I'm I, I'm glad that like there's it's something that like yeah. it adds a level of interaction for the chat and stuff for people to kind of engage with and use. So tell you some facts. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, I also uh, had a feeling that you might uh, enjoy our punny emote too. No way. Did I? So you might have fun with that one. Oh, okay. That's definitely Max Payne. Oh, like the diving? The diving and the turning. Right? The, in the way you can turn when you're on the ground without getting up all the way. That's like, continue cool. to aim. Yeah, that's super Max Payne 3. Hold on, hold on. Use my mouse and I can probably roll on the spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Saving that for when I make another great pun. Hell yeah. Well, then you got, uh... You got, you got our, you got the gnomes, cannibalism, and politics emotes as well. So you got, you got your little trio there. And then obviously you got your two dead dogs. And then I also really wanted to just have a little Alan Wake. And then also, here's our uh, Baldur's Gate 3 bear sex mode, too. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I just got wiped to shit. <laughs> yeah, I definitely was not paying attention for a second because I was putting emotes in the chat, but... <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I was just stood there chilling and then just gone. Oh, um, oh I think that's brought all of us in. Uh, Hell yeah. There we go. Thank you for the fresh revive. Yeah, you, you like the, you like the, uh, <laughs> I didn't notice the bear. <laughs> yeah, you like our Baldur's Gate 3 or, or, or uh, Bear Sex 3 about that we have there. Ah! We've spent so much time making fun of the fact that you can have sex with a bear in that game that there we, we could not have a bear sex three emote. Ah! Yeah. I got biled. Yeah. No, that's great. That's awesome. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you were enjoying the emotes, uh, Tyrus and Fox. You, you're, you were, you and Afternoon Tune and Horton are like the three main people that are gonna have that have access to all of them. I, I, I mean, I put the five in for just anybody following first, um, and then I, there's only so many open slots for that, so I had to make some of them uh, for the subscriptions. But uh, but yeah. So there's ten in there. I'm sure we'll come up with more at some point too. Um, oh great! But uh, yeah, yeah. Hopefully this is just the first step in customizing the channel more and adding more to it. Yeah. Just, just generally getting it set up and making it more professional all around. Yeah. The, getting the PC later this year will uh, will help massively with that. Man, this game is intense. I love it. Right? It's like it is. It is genuine. Like like for someone like me, where I'm like I really do not play a lot of multiplayer games. I, I am, like, really surprised by just how much fun I, I'm having this. Where are you? I don't want to... Oh, no. Oh, shit. Yeah, more professional. Honestly, more just, like, less unprofessional. That's a good point. <laughs> we'll, we'll always be, like, kind of unprofessional. 
just uh I think there's a there's a level of irreverency that we'll probably always have. You guys are gonna go pro within the year. <laughs> oh Jesus. Well I just got my whole body blown off there. Oof. Remember we when you're rolling in cash? Absolutely, Tyson Fox, you, you are your you are like you and Afternoon Tune are, are like our single most like consistent viewers. So we yeah we, we will not forget about you. You you are you are always welcome in our our channel. You are a valued member of this community. <laughs> Optal strikes are great. Right? Aren't they just so satisfying? Oh, I just I just managed to drop one right on top of one of those big tick looking things. And I, we may, uh, before we before the stream's over today, we may or may not have Afternoon Tune uh, join us oh, no. uh, as well. Oh, God. That's a big one. Oh, we can't ah. why oh shit. I... Oh, that's why. Stim. Ah, no. Nope. Nope. Get out of the thorns. Ah! Still trying to puke on me. Yeah, fake it till you make it. Exactly. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big NATO. Ah. Big fuckers coming after me. Ooh. Oh shit, there's another one. Oh god. And this is the fire. Ooh. Okay. No, what are you up to, Ulysses? What's going on uh, on your end? Do you plan anything, or you're just taking a break from work? Oh, and I should also uh, mention too. Uh, I will be live with Afternoon Tuned uh, this evening at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we will be doing reviews for Shin Godzilla and Fallout New Vegas, which will be fun. They found a weird fish movie. All right, Ulysses, tell us about your weird fish movie. It's called Kodak, and it's basically if Finding Nemo was a Korean dystopia about being eaten. What the fuck? <laughs> you, you, it, it's, and it's animated. You said, yeah. Or no, you, I don't think you said. But is it, is it animated? That sounds like something that would be animated. Woo! Okay. Look at that. Yeah, it's animated. U Ulysses does manage to find just the weirdest animated movies. <laughs> if if Finding Nemo was a, dy a Korean dystopia about being that is a that is an interesting premise. Uh, no, yeah. Is it done by Sony? Yeah, yeah. What? Uh, what, where? What is this from? Is it? Is it? Well, I, or is it a Korean film? Then I'm assuming is like what? Uh, like how weird? How weird is this? How low budget? Is bad animation? Good animation? It's made by some small South Korean film company. Okay. 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 Yeah, we may we may or may not have um, Afternoon Tune uh, join and play with us at some point uh, as well today. 
Hell yeah. I, I don't know for sure, but animation is kind of intentionally cheap looking, hard to explain, but it's not supposed to look pretty interesting. So is it, does it seem like they successfully like achieved what they were going for then? Ooh, wow, got a new difficulty. Just covered in bug. Yeah, just covered yeah. in bug. Yeah. Rare <sighs> character... Oh, it's a, okay. So it's actually good. It's not like a ridiculous, like bad, unintentionally funny, funny thing. It's like actually a good one. That's cool. That's cool. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Be disconnected. We are gonna be right near the bridge. Let's go. Sweet. Yeah, I don't have enough to buy anything at the moment, but that's okay. To the pods. To the pods. Yeah, I'm so like okay with other people just picking for us. <laughs> yeah. Works for me. Oh, it looks like uh, Hateborn left. No worries at all on that. Like I like I said, uh, since we're live streaming, uh, you know, we'll get like random people in, um, and uh, don't worry at all about not wanting to be uh, part of a recorded video or anything like that. Please uh, uh, don't feel bad about muting or or leaving the game for that reason at all. See, get the. I'm enjoying that this basically just took Starship Troopers lunch money. Oh, it so did. It so did. It's it's it, it is literally a Starship Troopers game. It's it's straight up a Starship Troopers game, and it is. It's amazing how successful it is too, because like it's not like Starship Troopers was like a in the cultural zeitgeist present day pop culture icon. Like I mean, like people remember it. For sure, and it's not like it's it's not like people don't know what it is, but you know, it's not like it was like something people were really talking about. And then this game just completely revitalized the whole concept of it in such a fun way. Just got a training manual tip: don't forget to take breaks. That is, if you want to be remembered as a coward. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> There are a weird number of very recent Starship Troopers games. There, yeah, that's true, actually. There are, like, actual branded Starship Troopers games that have come out relatively recently. I know, I've noticed that that tends to happen, though. It's like, uh, it's in the game industry, you'll just start getting games of kind of, like, the same premise popping up all over the place. Like, I think... Oh, totally. Uh, last year, year before, it was just, it was just vampires. They, they popped out, again, out of nowhere, just vampire games galore. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, for whatever reason, stuff just will trend, and I mean, yeah. it's just like it's the it thing at the time, and it just goes and goes. I mean, I yeah. want, uh, I really want Egyptian mythology to trend. Oh, I don't yes. even care if it gets to the point where it's like overdone and we're sick of it, because at least we'll have gotten some stuff first. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's the thing. It's the way I feel about the like the Nordic side of things and the Vikings and everything. It's it's just it's getting to the point now where it's just becoming a little bit overdone. Tie-in games used to universally be trash. At least now some are good. I mean, even back in the day, you'd have you'd you'd have good ones like Spider-Man Two oh, yeah. on the PS2 oh. was a classic. Um, it was not was common. Fantastic. It, it was not common for the tie-in games to be good. No, I'm, I'm not saying that. But they, even back then, there were exceptions. Um, but, uh, you know, you know, for the most part, they, they did suck. Oh, I Superman 64. Vikings. I like Vikings in that era. I'm also very done with that now. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, it's interesting because like, I, it's funny. Cause like, I feel like there's, there's a lot of stuff that's like inspired by Nordic mythology. Mm -hmm. Um, but it wasn't really until God of War came out that I felt like 
we got something where Norse mythology was like depicted exactly or like more in like a traditional kind of as Norse mythology sort of way really heavily, you know, like I feel like it's often, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of ready for that to not be like the thing all the time anymore. Yeah. I'm really, uh, interested in kind of exploring, um, Ah! Well, that was lucky I had that in my hand. Shit. I think it's... Yeah, damn. Alright. <laughs> um, oh. I'm kind of ready to maybe explore Finnish mythology a bit, because okay. with all the Alan Wake uh, 2 stuff and Remedy being a Finnish game studio and the, some of the... You ready for ancient Egyptian Egypt games like Thoth? <laughs> Thoth's Croctology Simulator. <laughs> Makes sense. Thoth, Thoth did uh, gift Proctology to humanity. I've told you about that whole story, right, Gordon? Yeah. That pro the Proctology is like the etymology of the word Proctology translates to Shepherd of the Anus. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it was about eat the Egyptians, man. They were just like, st you sick? Shove something up your butt. It'll cure everything. I mean, it's an easy way to go then. You sick? Pay to live. <laughs> Ooh, that too. That too. <laughs> What's right. funny is, uh, you know, for a while, the Vic Victorian medicine was all about putting leeches on people, right? Oh, yeah. But there was a yeah. there was a small period of crossover where Victorian medicine was like, hey, the Egyptians were putting stuff up people's butts, and that was like their cure all. Why don't we try putting leeches up people's butts and combine our ideas? God. And that's so that was like God. there was a brief period of history where leeches up the butt was like the thing. Uh. Honestly, I'm I'm not surprised anymore. <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm just not. Although I did see a thing. I it was a few years ago now. Apparently, they they were looking at bringing leeches back into like actual like modern medicine because of like. <laughs> the, the, really? The dead, yeah, like the, the whole dead flesh eating thing, but like leaving the like the actual living flesh intact, and apparently it's not exactly unsterile. Ah. Huh. Victorian so medicine also, oh <laughs> yeah, you we yep yep. Ulysses uh, said Victorian medicine also gave us Egyptian mummies as dietary supplements. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was probably the reason. It's like ah, this man put something up his butt and he tasted delicious. Better try this. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Great logic that some of those uh, yeah, Victorian. Like, here, let me uh, let me just read the readings of this ancient Egyptian jerky, and I'll get back to you on this new medical cure. <laughs> like no. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, it just goes to I show how much of humanity has just been us just fumbling around in the dark. Yeah. Just well, guessing. The how, the, how the fuck did we manage to colonize most of the fucking world? Like, come on, like. I mean, we probably threatened to eat their, you know, their dead or something, but still. <laughs> hey, just better weapons, man. Chai Soylent Brown. It's like Soylent Green, but with extra steps. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Destroy him. Destroy him. <laughs> hey, nice. Oh, but yeah, Ulysses, I only got two episodes of Hunter Hunter left. Right at the end. Yeah, you made it further than I did. And I didn't even like any of it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, where am I going? Oh, you should probably follow C1. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just assuming uh, C1 knows, knows what they're doing better than we do. This thing down here. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. I heard the show finally won you over, and now you're its biggest fan. Well, that's, uh, that's fucking propaganda. <laughs> That, that's some that's some yeah. misinformation you're spreading, Ulysses. 
This review, I, I, I told Afternoon June, uh, his, his review when it goes up on YouTube might get some down votes because of my negativity. <laughs> Alright, we got Northwest. Wait, what is that? Oh, oh shit. Oh, wow. Tremors. Is Kevin Bacon going to be in this game now? <laughs> the long, pointless election arc was what it took to get your approval. Good God, yeah, that's the... Oh. Yeah, the last arc of Hunter Hunter as of as of right now is uh, is uh, having an election, um, oh. and uh, the 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 results of the election only count if ninety five percent of potential voters show up to vote. So, in the story, they've held this vote eight times uh, because not enough people have showed up each of the eight times. So uh, they just keep having the election over and over again and that's what the story is oh. I fucking I'm, I'm so I'm so sick of this show <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, what was that? Oh, no, never mind. No, no election would ever finish if the requirement was that high I know right if any real election if they were like 95% of people have to show up to vote it was like okay well then we're never getting results it's literally just never going to happen. Honestly, I can't wait for you to finish uh, Stardust Crusaders from JoJo's. Oh, yeah, man. Um, I No, I am, like, so ready to uh, to get back to watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I thought you guys loved your elections. It's like a soap opera over there. I do genuinely enjoy watching American elections as, like, a TV show because I do think they're funny. Oh, yeah. But, well, that's, that's prime comedy, isn't it? And then it's also oh, yeah. a tragedy because it's real. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why one of our emotes in the in the, in the the chat is Jeb Bush as the turtle. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm high, oh, high voter turnout is like 60, 70%. Yeah, no, exactly. Exactly. Please, please don't stand right there, dude. Okay. He knows what he's doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> he knows how how. Hey, there you go, little Jim Bush, the turtle, the, that dumb bitch that he is. Um, but uh, but no, the the the. the I don't know, Tyson Fox. This is just my my opinion and my ranting on on this anime. But that's Hunter Hunter is what I've been watching for Afternoon Two and for the last like god couple of months at this point because it's so long. But the whole show, I feel like just. Nothing ever really happens in it. It's 148 fucking episodes of just nothing happening. And then when they do this election part, it's just the same election over and over again. It's not even like... And they're not even doing anything to get more people to show up. God damn it, Ulysses. I am not watching pregnant ant porn. <laughs> Although Hunter x Hunter did have a weird moment that felt like it was pregnant ant porn. Yeah. Like, th that moment of that flashback of that giant, like, that pregnant ant rubbing its belly is something I did not fucking need to see and is now <laughs> burned into my brain like Samuel L. Jackson making out with that scroll in Secret Invasion. Like, something I could never unsee. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, let's see, where are we actually taking this? It'll flash before uh, your eyes when you die. Here. Is it here? Okay. Is there a I spot that I'm supposed so? to put it? I think it's the uh, the middle. Or just, like, leave it on the ground over know. here? Yeah, I don't know. I think the guy might have uh, raised signal strength to 100. Oh. Yeah, you're dead before you get to me. I'm running away, scared. Ants are close enough to spiders. <laughs> uh, hey! Cal4 is in the chat, subscribed for four months in a row. Thank you so much for that subscription, Cal. Helldivers 2, nice! Yes, me and Horton finally decided to do our stream for, uh, stream for it. Um, 
Sage says he needs those extra two legs to do it for him. God damn it. But no, Cal, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're well. Hope you're having a good day. Everybody follow Cal. He made all... He There you go. There's the Baldur's Gate 3 emote there. Cal made the emotes for this channel, so if you like these emotes, please go follow him. He's a fantastic guy. Does his own fantastic streams over on his channel. I would really appreciate if everybody supported him as well. Oh, no. All up to you, uh, Sage. Oh, shit. Some reinforcements in. Well, both dead. Ah! Well, ah! I'm gonna run away, I'm gonna run away. So I can reinforce. Calling in yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> what was that animation? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, I'm dead. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> well, at least I got the reinforcement before I, before I died. Oh, stop it! No, I can't. I, I'm not. I will never stop singing your praises. Never, never gonna stop. <laughs> no, hopefully you're having a good day, man. Uh, just assume uh, working from home, probably. Hey, there you go. He's got his own, all of his own little emotes there, too. Like, what's the... I, I, I haven't even thought about the um, the animated emotes. I haven't even, I haven't even... I haven't even looked at that as, like, a thing. Or, like, considered that as an idea at all. Like I said, I don't really know how most of this even works, because I don't... I'm not a computer guy, and I never have been. So... Really, really, all the, all of the emotes, um, that one's not mine, but, oh, okay, that's not yours. Well, fair enough. Um, but yeah, I, I really don't know too much about how to do any of these things. <laughs> that's why, again, these, these emotes are the only exist thanks to Cal for. He is, he is, like, the totality of, of the existence of, of the channel customization here right now. I'd be scared of, scared of how Sage would want the spider lady about to be animated. <laughs> well, I'm, well, I'm not going to ask for it to be like on a p dancing on a pole or something. No, for you. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Every, everybody's in on these spider lady jokes. <laughs> Wait, did the reinforcement not come in? Uh, I guess it didn't oh, no, work. Try. Resupply, that's my bad. Oh, my God. Ah. That's okay, I don't know what I'm doing either. <laughs> but no, Cal. Cal. I've got two episodes of Hunter Hunter left. Only two. And then you and me watching more JoJo. Yes. Do you like that snake strip club at XCOM? Oh god, I don't want that. I don't I don't want that. I, I really, really vehemently don't want that. <laughs> Oh, of course I run out of ammo right with them. <laughs> Horton, did you know that there's a snake strip club in XCOM? There's like snake ladies with weird snake tits in that game. Why oh god. That when you can have pregnant ants rubbing their bellies. Man, I swear to God, I. <laughs> uh, no, I I'm so ready to be done and never ever ever watch Hunter Hunter ever again in my life. There's a there's a movie too, and I'm like I I, I was I I panicked when I first. <laughs> yep, there's this there's this that spider lady. Um. I panicked, too, when I heard there was a movie, and I was like, oh, God, please, no. And then, thankfully, um, the movie was... Uh, the movie is not canon to the show. It's like a lot of older anime films where it, where it's not, it's not... It doesn't matter. So I was like, thank God I don't have to watch that. I'm not watching that. I will not watch it. Yeah. 
I just got to read the manga. Dude, no, fuck no, I'm not reading the manga for Hunter. Hunter, are you kidding me? Absolutely not. I can only imagine it is even more slow-paced and full of fucking nothing that the show is. I'll say, if anybody in the audience is like a big Hunter Hunter fan, I... Not trying to take it away from you at all, but ooh boy, do I not like it. Uh, and actually, Cal, uh, 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 I would genuinely love to have a conversation with uh, with uh, with your with your friend uh, Pep about about the show. Uh, j- just like genuinely to hear uh, someone really try and kind of give like a. And like an in-depth explanation of of what they see in it, be, like because I really want to know. I, I want to be able to like understand because I don't. I don't understand. Like Did even he... a little bit. Oh, I think the other mate you left. No, oh, that's okay. Now we'll just bumble around and, until we either succeed or yeah. fail. Yeah, There's two sides to every story. Some people even like Star Trek Picard. That's true. And I can't fathom that either. Yeah, do you have to bring this over here? Is this what it is? I don't really know. Ah! Oh, yeah, I see what I got, dude. Hey, now no, with nobody, with no other players to carry us through, we really don't know what's going on. <laughs> Right. I got all these invisible ones as well. Oh. Did we just get another player? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I did it. I don't know what ah. I did, but I did it. Did something. Ah. Yes, I did. Uh, now we got to recover that hard drive as well. The one that you kept picking up. Oh, shit. We got to get... <laughs> we got to... <laughs> Some people like spider ladies and hurting innocent dogs. I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, spider ladies, oh, killing dogs, having too many cats. There's so many, so many little digs to just in me that I've now given people in the chat the ability to. Hey, we did get someone else. We did get another player. Oh, is that? Oh shit! Is that a? Uh... Oh, I just got. This is not Saya. That's, um... If I'm not mistaken... That's, uh... That is one of our other co-hosts, Tyler, who has not been on the channel in a while. Uh, Tyler, I don't know uh, if you can hear us in your game, but uh, I hope I hope you're doing well. Hello. Welcome in. And uh, we are currently on uh, live streaming as well, so I don't, I don't know if you're... I don't know if you're, if you're there, but... Or if you can hear us, but I, I hope you're having a, a good time and welcome in, man. Some people like, uh, what's the ETA on that box of kittens about? Oh, that's in there. Yeah, yeah, that's totally in there. We got all, we got, we, I actually don't think there's uh, ideas for any that we don't have in. Like, all, all, the, all the emotes I have, I that I had ideas for are like fully in, in the channel now. What the hell is that? Oh, that is the thing that we need the tank missile to deal with. Well, not, not the only weapon that can deal with them, but certainly a very helpful and specific one that definitely makes a big difference. It's like it, it's like you have to blast off pieces of its shell to... Uh... And I'm only I only know that because Cal taught me that while I was playing with nice. him. <laughs> Machine gun. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Ulysses, have you and Sky watched any more of Devil Man yet? Hell yeah! I don't remember how to high five. I wish I I wish I could high do the high five. I try to remember how to do it. Uh. Uh. Oh, there we go. There we go. Follow me. 
Yeah. I thought there was a high five emote or some some sort of. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I swear I thought there was like some sort of. Huh? Yeah, I thought I swear there was like a way to high five, and I can't remember what it is. But hi, Tyler. Uh, we still need the Hello. Drive. Yeah, Tyler hasn't been on the channel in forever. I still have uh, Sifu saved specifically because it's a me. It's a specific amount. Oh, okay. I, I I really do, I don't know my way around the game too much, but also uh, Tyler, I don't I don't know if you have a headset. I think you can swap emotes out for other ones on the ship if you have them unlocked. Okay, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, Tyler, I don't know if you have a headset or not, but if you do, uh, you are more than welcome uh, to join us in the voice chat. You also don't have to either uh, if you don't want to. Uh, totally up to you, but you are you are more than welcome to if you'd like to. Is it that one? Oh, Transport did you do it? To the communications relay? I don't know. I'm not actually entirely sure. But it's the only other thing I can see apart from extraction. Hmm. Yeah, most of my time playing this game has just been spent bumbling around, like, in a group of people that uh, yeah. know what they're doing. Well, I don't, really. <laughs> no, that's fair, man. Fucking you can swap them out for other ones on the ship if you have them unlocked. Oh, okay. Nice, you up to episode 7. Okay, nice. So you guys are, yeah, you're almost done with it. You only got three more. Hell yeah. And that show's wild, right? Uh, Horton, you've seen... You've seen Devil Man all the way through, right? The, the Devil Man Crybaby from 2018? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's a show. <laughs> that was... It was... It was... It was horrifying. Uh, but it was also really fucking good. Very well done. Like, yeah, I it's, really it's a, enjoyed it. I, I really think it's a modern classic, honestly. Um, and the animation was... Fucking amazing. Yeah, it's a it's a really great, great animated, uh, great animated series. Um, and it's nice and short. I love that. And it's also, yeah. I mean, you know, you talk about oh, there are things to pick up. Okay, I thought I went over there. Yeah, there we go. Um, but, uh, I mean, in Devil Man being, like, such a foundational kind of um, building block of so many modern anime. Because, um, like, Berserk is partially based on Devil Man. And Neon Genesis is based on Devil Man. And Attack on Titan pulls it from Devil Man. Ah! Oh, nice. There we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey, he's puking on me. Ah, uh, my body. That was one dead. Oh god. Yeah. Shit. I need my anti tank shit. Ah! Can I get you to... There we go. Whew. That was close. Yeah, what uh, what are you what are you and Sky thinking about the show now that you've gotten through like a uh, pretty solid chunk of it? Obviously, uh, you know, the ending will be, uh, uh, you know give you a lot more of a complete sense of what you how you feel about it but okay so we're not finished with this fucking ssd yet no uh, Ty i think tyler oh wait no you have it or wait who yeah. has it you no you've got it okay yeah just not entirely sure it says uh you got to transport to the hard drive to the communications relay Uh, I'm trying to remember what the, um, there's a button to open up, or, like, to, like, look at the map, uh, more closely. Oh, uh, Tyler, Tyler said give him the, uh, the, uh, hard drive. There you go, buddy. He, he probably, he, I think he's probably played this more than us, he probably knows where to take it. 
it's pretty good. We were skeptical with all the weird sex shit it pulls, but it genuinely feels like that stuff has a point, uh, which you don't see off. Exactly, exactly. It's 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 doing it in a way where it's like it's building a narrative using it rather than just doing it pure shock for uh, pure shock value. And it, I mean, and you could tell Berserk is inspired by it uh, in that sense, right? Like it, it really. It you know, <laughs> Berserk pulls uh, a lot of what it does from Devil Man, although it never goes as um, far and uh, unpleasant as Berserk does on the sexual violence front. As much as there is a lot of weird sex stuff in Devil Man, uh, I don't think it's mm-hmm. it, it is never as it's never as unpleasant to sit through as as Berserk. Like that, I think that's for sure. Just reload. There we go. But yeah, if, if uh, once you guys finish it, I'll be very curious to, to talk to you about it more. Because, uh, I mean, like I said, the, the, the show really... I feel like the show's ending is what really... It, it all really threads together so perfectly in that last episode. Um, and makes just this kind of... What I think is a really kind of amazing philosophical kind of poignant uh, oh god I got you Tyler I, I got you coming back in oh we went the wrong way oh shit ah, that was well I mean that's not too surprising, I guess, considering I'm the we're I'm the one playing. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> eh, no worries, man. We're we're just fucking yeah. around. We're, we're, this is Horton's first day playing the game. This is only the second time I've sat down to play it. I am learning. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're. <laughs> that's all. That's all we can say. <laughs> No, actually, Tyler, it's great to play a game with you. Like, I'm, I'm super uh, surprised and happy to see you in here. Oh, God. Ah! I think you just came right behind me there. <laughs> oh! Ah, he bugged out. Uh, and Tyler, I, I, and I, I'm assuming you can hear us, but we can't hear you. I am, I can't, one of these days... I gotta have you over to co-host streaming Sifu, because I still haven't, I still have not touched that game. I'm still saving it specifically for you, because you were excited about it. To be fair, we got, what, we had Naple cooldowns. Uh, Cooldowns, Naple uh, reinforcements, and then that guy that we were here originally with left us. Yeah. I, I'm, 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 we were probably fucking around and doing things wrong so much they just were like, all right. <laughs> I mean, but there's the fun. I don't. True, but I also, I also don't blame them. I, I feel like you, you gotta have with a game like this. I do totally see like you kind of want to have like uh, some sort of communicative teamwork kind of thing happening. Yeah. Sweet. Thank you, Tyler. Yeah, I got, uh, I got a minute 50 until a reinforcement. Oh, no, that's mine, isn't it? Oh, yeah, no. No, yeah, I've got, yeah. Minute 40. All right, let's get my... Oh, God. Oh, God. Wow, okay. <laughs> I, d- I didn't even get off the base from the... <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, I was like, let me let me get my t- anti tank rifle, uh, re- you know, anti tank missiles, real quick, and and get that set up before I run anywhere. Ooh. That was a respawn well spent. Yeah, no, totally, super effective. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me, I need to look up when the uh, the next lot of episodes of the dub for Undead Unlocked drop. 
So oh yeah, how's, how's that show been going? I haven't seen it any any of it myself yet. Um, so we we me and Phoebe binged all of the eleven episodes in like a day. Oh nice. I mean that yeah, seems um, like some positive sign then. Oh yeah, no, it was it was interesting. It's um, how do I put it? So they, I think there's twenty four in total from the first season, but we've only got eleven dubbed at the moment. Um, okay. I think they're on Hulu in America, so the Disney Plus over here. Okay. I think that's um, slowly starting, the catalogs on those are slowly starting to merge together to be one thing now. Because yeah. I saw, yeah. like, It's Always Sunny on Disney Plus not that long ago, and I was like, oh, well, that oh. seems totally not right for yeah. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> I was going to say, because I think over here we've got, a, we've got Only Sunny on, it's on Netflix. You know, it might be on Netflix here, too. It might be on both. Yeah. I'm actually not sure. I'd have to double check. But yeah, no, um, Undead Unluck is, it's interesting, man. It's, go. I'm, I'm intrigued to see where it goes, because there's a whole lot of stuff that happens in it. Like, it starts off as one thing, and you're like, okay. And then it kind of, like, just goes into something else, and then something else happens, and you're like, what the fuck is going on? Like, it's, it's weird, man, but it's so cool the way they've done it. Like, I, I don't even know how to, like, without... Spoiling, spoiling it. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know how to kind of like explain some of the weird crap or the stuff <laughs> that they just chuck at you and you go, okay. That is, that is that is how it is with a lot of anime. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, but it's uh, no, it, it's definitely it's got a lot there, and I'm I'm very very excited to get to watch the rest of it when it when it drops. Cool. So are they dropping it in like chunks then? Like not all I like think it's so. like it's not just it's, one episode at a time, but it, they'll drop no, like what like I waited about a week until after we watched well, just over a week actually, until after we watched all eleven episodes. Went back onto Disney and they still only had eleven episodes on there. Okay. So I, I suppose I'm it could just be a week break too. Maybe, maybe. So I I still need to go back on there at some point and uh re look at uh um, sorry, I got spat on. Um, oh, you're good. Like, to see if they have dropped anymore, and if not, then kind of look up to see if they are doing it in chunks or... Oh, God. And then, um, did you... And then by, also, by the way, I was meaning to ask you, uh, did you have that, um... You, you, you were, you were t- t- telling me you were going to have, like, a Jujutsu Kaisen, like, watch party? Oh, yes! Yeah, no, so that, that, um... So two did, days. So have you seen... So, you've seen all of it now? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Yeah, we did it over two days. We finished entirely the um, uh, the first season. We oh shit, you got seventeen first... seconds before uh, a yeah. respawn, and it's just you, I think. Yeah. So. Wait, yeah, sorry, yeah. Entire... That's right. We finished the entire. Oh shit. We hey, at least entire... water's not an instant death. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm quite happy about that. All right, nice. You gotta, you gotta reinforce. Nice. You got one. All right, let's see if we can get that in first. All right. Now the goal is to stay alive long enough to get Tyler back in too, so we're all in at the same time. <laughs> no, I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm in a lot of pain. Just keep running, just keep running. Right. <laughs> Ooh, yes, nice. Go Definitely stagger, orbital stagger, strike. Stagger, stagger. There we go. Uh, five to one odds this doesn't end well. Uh, resupply. Woo. Okay. So what was I saying? So yeah, we did the entire. Oh yes, Jiu- 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 um, and we decided we're going to do the the movie and the first five episodes. We're doing them in timeline order. So we're going to okay. we watch the first five episodes of season one because that's obviously before the events. Because um, a friend that I was watching it with, he was like, right, 
this is kind of what happens in the movie. He was like, it is to do with like the the, the hundred demon event or whatever yep. it was. He said it was. He said, but the first five episodes of season two are technically take place before that and kind of explain a little bit more of the backstory to do with Gojo and uh, Ghetto, which yep. lead up to kind of the movie. So he's like, how do you want to watch it? And we decided that we'd, we'd watch it, first five episodes for the, the younger Gojo Ghetto, then go yep. to the movie, then finish season two. Okay. So, so the next time we manage to meet up is going straight into the movie. So you've already watched those first five episodes? <laughs> yes, we have. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, th- I thought that was a great little arc. Uh, oh, yeah, that, oh, that, oh, whole, that whole little chunk of story. There we go. Yeah. And the background as well on, uh, I can't remember, Megami's uh, dad. Oh, yes, the stuff you learn about, like, Toji. Oh, yeah. It's very cool. I just got absolutely blacked by two things. Fucking get out of here. Look at him. Look at him just dive jump everywhere. It's fucking, it's like watching a ballet. Yeah. <laughs> Beautifully done. A cup of liberty. That, <laughs> that was wonderful. Sage's Dark Souls instincts are kicking in. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll. <laughs> oh shit, Super say. Destroyer departure imminent. Stratagems will become unavailable. Oh shit, oh, okay. okay. Shit. Thirty, right. almost thirty seconds, and we'll be able to. We'll summon you back in. Yeah, that's cool, dude. I'm just gonna follow Tyler because I feel like he knows more than I do. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get that feeling. No, honestly, uh, great. I really wasn't expecting uh, to have Tyler on the channel today, and that's awesome to see that happen. <laughs> God, give him a fist bump. I'm try. Uh, how do I? I'm trying. I, I'm trying to remember how to. Oh, whoa! Not, not what I meant to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> so not what I meant to do. That, that's honestly fair. <laughs> Ride the wave. Yeah, sometimes just dodge rolling until uh, just panic dodge rolling is the only answer. Right, what do I want? Let's do that. And. Oh, okay. Let's get me a machine gun. And Hell yeah! Resupply as well for... I'm seriously, I, 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 I don't, I genuinely do not even know. It's called using your tools. What? Because Tyler, you're playing on on the PlayStation. So what? What's the button press for for the emote? God, a big armored boy. He is gunning it. Oh, for shit. Me. Left. Ah, you left. Okay, that's on the okay. Oh, look at that big shiny butt of yours, ready to be uh, ready to be shot. Nice, nice. Yeah, one one minute for the shuttle, okay. I'm 
Nice. Yeah, Tyler's got like way more uh, tools and like weapons and. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Stop playing with a master. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when I uh, when I played with Cal, um, uh, the first time I played the game, uh, uh, Cal and, and his friends that were that were playing it together, they had like a they were squatted up, like they had a strategy. They all had like a, a purpose in the team. They were all yeah. like coordinated and stuff, in? and yeah, they like and I was just like walking in front of people and getting hit <laughs> and like oh, I don't know <laughs> like super like I was not avoiding the friendly fire at all <laughs> oh and some of that's a product of the fact that I um oh shit I never actually posted uh discord notifications for the fact that we're streaming <laughs> Let me go do that, because I never did that. Kind of games always reward team play. Yeah, 100%. 100%. They're definitely way more about, like, having, like, a solid team <laughs> to actually play with. Went out with a bang. Hell yeah. So let's see, we'll post in our, on my Discord. Yeah. Then we'll go post in your Discord. Yeah, go for it. A little self promote. And then. Disgraceful conduct. Whoops. <laughs> and then. Let's see. Do that Discord. We got, got, got a lot of Discords, honestly. That we... Post in Cal's. Why not? What game's gonna do after this in Power World? Um, I know that uh, we're planning on doing Remnant Two uh, at some yeah. point. Um, I don't know if we really have any other for sure ones yet, right? I think um, not the moment that we've talked well. about. I do think one um, that would be good for uh, for for this show for Across the Pond specifically would be um uh i think it's just it, i want to say the game is called no rest for the wicked it's um it's the game being made by the studio that did the ori and the blind forest games but it's um but it's like a uh it, it's like a top-down multiplayer rpg with some I think it's got some souls like elements but it's also not like full on dark souls difficult either um and it looks re it looks like a very cool like fantasy rpg I don't know Tyler do you want to pick the mission because honestly like I feel like you'll you'll pick something and know what what's going on more than I will can I mm. so let's see the left yeah, well, sort of Diablo looking, but not. Yeah, like Diablo plus Dark Souls. How? Oh, can you not pick the mission? Because we're not. Because I, I'm not. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, well, I'm just going. Oh, damn! You're level thirty-one. Holy shit! Yeah, you're way up above where we are. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just let's just do quick. I'll just hit quick play. Yeah. Just hit the random quick play. I guess let's, uh, I'll try bringing that other, like, sniper gun with and see if I can do anything with that. Oh, yeah, and your armor is, like, Tyler's armor is all, like, tricked out and, like, oh, yeah. sleek looking and, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome.
Hey, we got afternoon tune in the chat. What's up, man? How you doing? Welcome you in. Doing? Welcome in. Just yeah, just doing our doing a little hell divers here. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, how are you doing? Hey, I, I, I'm doing good afternoon, dude. I'm doing pretty good. Horton, you're doing good? Yeah. Generally. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, it's going, it's going solid, man. It's going good. It's been a good stream. I had a lot of people in the chat today. Wait a minute, what the hell? No, no, I did not. I did not. Oh my god. Trampling, trampling, trampling. Oh my god, these guys like everywhere, right? Right away. Ah! Oh god. <laughs> no, I didn't watch the eclipse. Uh, I actually, um, here where I live, it's so cloudy that you, uh, they were saying you wouldn't even be able to see it anyway. Which is unfortunate. But, uh, how it goes. Well, then afternoon tune, uh, after this match here, we'll probably, I'd say we'll probably do this one and then at least one more. Uh, and, uh, if you want to jump in, um, we have, we have four people in right now, so, um, we'll have to wait for the next match. But, uh, uh, if you want to jump in on the next round, uh, you are more than welcome to. Did you did uh, did you watch the eclipse afternoon tune? Did anyone in the chat watch the eclipse? Oh shit! Oh well. So uh, for for our uh, fourth uh, player, raw obesity that is uh, in in there with us. Uh, just so you're aware, uh, I am currently live streaming on Twitch, which is why we have the open chat here thing going. If we are annoying you by talking about random things you don't care about, please don't feel bad about muting us. Uh, <laughs> or leaving if you don't want to uh, be in the... Oh, shit, Orton. Did your internet crash? We lost Horton. No, that was actually Horton that left, uh, who who is my co-host. Uh, our uh, our fourth our fourth uh, mystery player is actually still in there. Yeah, uh, I, I'm I'm assuming Horton just either had an internet crash or or something. But uh, yeah, Horton, I, I know I know Horton has the stream up on the side as well, so he if uh. If you're able to figure whatever's going on out, yeah, just jump back in and rejoin. You'll be all good. Yeah, Horton finally got fed up with our shit. <laughs> I think he... Oh, yeah, he, he, yeah he's, he joined back in. Yeah, he's, he, he joined back. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. What's up? Hey, welcome back, Horton. <laughs> hey, yeah, never, never put up with your shit. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, did did you did your game just crash or what? Uh... Uh, no, I, it said there was some kind of connection issue and just put me back on my ship. But people oh, interesting. Fortnite and. Nothing else has died, so not a fucking clue. Woo! Blow these fucking eggs up. Well, welcome back. We missed you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Ooh, shit. Ooh, that was a bit close. <laughs> yeah. Out of here. Oh, 
They should seriously have a Tremors crossover in this game. And uh, get like a Kevin, like a Kevin Bacon skin. Ah, uh, movie is so good because it's so awful. I love it. It's it's ridiculous. I do enjoy me a good Kevin Bacon '80s movie. Actually, was Tremors '80s or was Tremors '90s? I am actually not sure. Uh, that's, that's <laughs> a very good bloody question. Don't blow up those eggs. Bug life begins at conception. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that fits with the satire of the actual game, honestly. <laughs> um, well, yeah, honestly, so we'll probably just, honestly, Orton, I think we'll, we should probably just play Helldivers for the foreseeable future for our uh, Across the Pond streams. Well, I'm happy for that. This is fucking great. It's pretty, pretty damn fun. Yeah, and uh, we can we can get the uh, the join in uh, from uh, the occasional join in from uh, okay. Afternoon Tune or Tyler or Cal maybe depending on if uh, if he's working if he has like a day off or something. Yeah. Oh wow, that came up right behind me. Ooh, yes it did. Just eat my lunch. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, I ran into bugs. And then I ran into a laser beam. <laughs> if that isn't the story of my life. Yeah. Ah, get. Wow. <laughs> I. So this is this is I. Anytime I am, I do play multiplayer games. I swear I die constantly. <laughs> I feel you. I mean, anytime I play games, I feel like I die constantly, so I feel your pain. I mean, like, I get, I get, I have my, my deaths in my in single player games too, but I do feel like I generally. Ah. I just got blown to shit. Can I, can I get up? Can I get up? Get good? I mean, I, I beat Sekiro. I, like, I played, I, I have, I have beaten. Cuphead uh, by myself and well, at least most of it by myself and have been. Eh. Cold as a walk-in fridge, cold as a gun. Now I, I know that you guys. Uh, I know you and Alex suggested having a, an emote uh, based on Max Payne uh, for that for that joke, but I actually think it will be better uh, just as a sound effect. I was expecting pro gameplay, but here we are. I know I am much better at single player games than I ever am at multiplayer games. Not that I couldn't get good with practice, but you will absolutely see a mark, marked difference in skill, uh, for sure, with with single player stuff. I I I I got good at Sekiro, and that game was fucking brutal. I also got good at Cuphead, which is also brutal as brutal as hell. I actually still need to go back and uh, play the expansion for Cuphead. Mm. I never played the fo that fourth uh, that DLC world that they added. Yeah, from what I played of it, really good. Love I know it. that one of the bosses has a bunch of gnomes around it, so you know <laughs> it's uh. Prime material for the channel. Yeah, I don't think I got that far, unfortunately. I'm not saying you can't get good. I'm just saying get good. Well, I don't know. Well, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. With uh, with this one, I I do actually think that this will be probably this will probably be 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 the main multiplayer game that we do stream on the channel for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good with that. Just because, like, it's so easy to be able to, like, just do some matches and then... Yeah. Go back and... Or if we do want to play a different game, we can go back and, and do something and then come right back to it. It's just so so easy to... Alright, is that all of them? I think that's all these fucking eggs. Alright. Yeah. You don't know you're gonna keep losing just to spite me? I might. 
<laughs> what is that, Cal? Is that like a is that a cat just rolling around? That's that's adorable. I love it. Uh, I gotta destroy more eggs. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, I'll try. I'm not. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna try. I'm just. I don't know. I like. I. I've. I'm. Ne I. It's. It probably is just a product of the fact that I have. I don't put time into like multiplayer online shooters ever, and that. That's why my skills at them are just not particularly good. Um, however, I do. Oh shit! Locking into the explosives. I will say I am a much bigger fan of this sort of like. Here, Gordon Dodge roll. There we go. Oh yeah, get that tank tank shot in there. Um, but yeah, I, I do. I prefer this a lot um, to like a Call of Duty or a Fortnite because it's cooperative multiplayer. Like I like that we're all on a team to trying to accomplish a thing together. I uh, like versus other people multiplayer has just never been that interesting to me unless it's maybe like Mortal Kombat or like a fighting game but even then I mostly play that just versus the AI like I don't really go online and play Mortal Kombat versus other people like, I, I just don't spend the time doing that what do you think of there yeah. being no more bots uh I mean I only fought them the one time with you, Cal. <laughs> so, so I, I don't really know how much I'm missing for the for the most part. I just I just saw that one thing. I mean, it's it's cool that there's like actual progression in the world of the game. I think that's genuinely neat. Yeah, I guess Horton. I don't know if you even knew that, but there was like robot hordes in this game. Um, ah, I think I've heard about them, the automatons. But but they were but like collectively, the player base defeated them. Oh. And so they're not in the game anymore. Like they, like literally, oh. why they get rid of the oh because like like literally Ulysses like the the player base like won the war against them, and like defeated them, and so like That's there's great. like almost like a story progression happening, in like in the multiplayer servers in some kind of interesting, weird way, which I actually that, think is cool. That is cool. That's that's a very cool way of doing it. I'm going to go need to get some sleep. Have a great stream. Tiresome Fox, thank you so much for being here. As always, we appreciate you. You are a, a great member of this community. I hope you have a good night, and uh, we'll catch you soon. We'll be back tomorrow with more gnomes, cannibalism, and politics, and I'm sure lots and lots and lots of spider lady jokes, because that's who Alex and Ulysses are. Oh, God. Wow, I just shot that, like, under its feet and didn't even hit it. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Like, to having there be, like, this kind of actual narrative progression within the world. I, I think it's interesting. I think I think that's a really cool thing. No, yeah, that is... It's different, and I like that. And it also signifies, um, at least in my mind, the potential for other enemy factions to potentially appear at some point in the future. Whether that's yep. the automatons making some sort of comeback or it's like something new altogether that shows up that's yeah. like oh what's this thing you know no that's cool that's a very oh yeah, okay like, I think many people really do that many games do that a lot i know there was that i can't remember what game it was there wasn't a game that um i think it was based off a tv figured show. it out tyler <laughs> Whatever the play, player base did actually affected the TV show. Uh, 
that the player base affected a TV show. Yeah. It it, it I like what it was called. Huh. Like the like the people did stuff in the video game and then it, it affected how it like the whole, like an extra sting. Huh. Yeah, I'll have to um I'll have to look Oh up Tyler what knows what oh, you're talking right, about. But, yeah, well can you remember the name of it? Because it escapes me. I don't I never played it, but I remember hearing about it and thinking that's actually a really fucking weird but cool way of doing something. We're not like just something different. We're not talking about the choice based stuff in Quantum Break where you like get to the end of a point in the game, make a choice, and then a like episode of a TV show will play. I think possibly. Is are we talking about Quantum Break? No, I don't think it was Quantum Break. Because that, that's Quantum what Quantum Break was, right? Like when it was coming out, Quantum Break. Oh, okay. Tyler says it released when me and him worked at GameStop together. Quantum Break did come out when we worked at GameStop together. I think we might be talking... No, it's not that one? Because, uh, cause, well, I'll just give this Quantum Break spiel for a second while we're still trying to figure out what the game was. But with Quantum Break, the plan for the game was that there was going to be a TV show that aired on TV, and then in the game you'd make choices and it would affect how like the TV show would play out. But they over... They kind of... They were... O- a little too ambitious for their own good, and they kind of un- overestimated or underestimated how much work it would be to make all that work. So, in uh, in the uh, <laughs> Cal's like ah, another GameStop victim. Oh, funny, actually, um, Tyler, uh, Tyler, uh, you're playing with us, Tyler. I swear to God, you started at GameStop like a month after Cal in the chat quit. Like, I, I swear, it was, like, you, you started right after he quit. And Cal was uh, the supervisor when I started and trained me at the job. And then, and then yeah, and then, Tyler, you you started. So you, you two have never met, but you were, like, that, like, six degrees of Kevin Bacon, like, almost collided with each other. Uh, <laughs> he was my replacement. <laughs> right. Um... But no, yeah, so Quantum Break, they they over they underestimated how much work it would take for that to actually happen. And so the yeah. final version of Quantum Break is that you play a bunch of the game, you get through to a section, you make us a, a choice at the end of a chapter in the game, and then the choice you make will give you... And there's, like, two different versions of each TV episode. and But the TV episodes are, like, inside the game still, rather than, like, yeah. a separate program. Um, but originally they were supposed to be separate things that interlinked. So huh. may have actually seen Tyler around since I was still around the mall at the time. That's true. Cause Cal went and worked at, um, what was the, what was that store across the hall from GameStop that, that you went to work at Cal? It just remind me of the name again. What was it? was, I, the, the, that sold all the, the cool Tamadachi, yeah. So, uh, Tyler, if you remember the Tamadachi store being across the hall from uh, from us while we were working at GameStop, Cal was working over at that store, just just across the way. Small world. That's so funny how that yeah how that links up. Honestly, that's hilarious. Oh, that's not what I want oh. to be near. Loot up with the bombs. Damn. <laughs> Shit. So I uh, found out what that TV show and game was called. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's what? What is it? Defiance. Defiance. Okay. Uh, there was a show called Defiance, and there was a game called Defiance 2050, which I think interlinked. Fuck sake. But yeah. So um, yeah, there, there was a TV show called Defiance. And I think the, the it was like an MMO game was uh, twenty defines twenty fifty. I think stuff that the players did in the game affected the TV show. Huh. Interesting. I guess I didn't. I feel like I maybe heard about that game, but I don't know a lot. Yeah. No. I I don't I don't know much about it. I remember because apparently the service for it shut down in twenty one. And I remember reading or hearing about how the fact they'd kind of intertwined it with the TV show. But that, that's pretty much 
my that's 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 all I know hmm. about it. Also, Cal, I'm I'm sending you a link to one of the streams Tyler was on, so you can you can uh, check for yourself uh, if you if you're right about that or not. What difficulty, Ariel? I think we're on challenging. I think I think oh. we're on challenging difficulty. Tyler Tyler's also like level like thirty something, and is like so far ahead of the game on us uh, that we are. So we we've just kind of been following him around and letting him kind of. Yeah be in charge <laughs> yeah level 31 yeah 31 man that's crazy that's awesome which said that's that, that, assuming that yeah uh, Tyler has put a lot more time into this game uh, than I have <laughs> that is for yeah, sure I've been playing it for what two hours <laughs> About two yeah hours? two hours total ba basically just the, the time that the stream has been going <laughs> yeah pretty much did the tutorial which is not a lot of playing Yeah, yeah, so that's about all. I mean, I, I played, I played probably three hours so or so, roughly, with Cal. Um, so I've, I've got a, like a little bit more, but yeah, still really not. I don't know. As far as the skill for me developing a skill in a multiplayer game, um, <laughs> yeah, I think I recall seeing him. Never introduced myself, but he looks familiar. Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I've had a feeling. I've had a feeling that that you were right about that, but yeah. Yeah, Tyler's been Tyler's been on the stream um, a few times in the past. Although it's it's been a while as a uh, until today, um, just because our schedules just hadn't lined up. Um. Oh shit! They just raised the level cap so it adjusted and sent you up to fifty six. God damn! So Cal is like way ahead of where we are. <laughs> 56, goddamn. Um, from 50 to 56, okay. So what's, what is the level cap now? What's like the current level cap to for the, like the total? Fifty used to be the cap. Uh, Saying a resource caps too for various samples. One fifty is the new level cap. Okay. Oh, and Tyler said one fifty two. Oh, one hundred. Okay. One fifty. Okay. Cool. And I'm only at level six. <laughs> but no, um, I I like legitimately can't wait. Um, uh. Tyler to have you on the stream again more uh, like once our schedules are able to line up um, oh shit am I the only one that's alive right now oh shit no, don't no, seem to be no, any no, new no. titles after 50 and 25 was the last level requirement for some stratagems okay I mean I'd be surprised if they don't start adding some stuff at some point right like I'm just trying to run away and hopefully stay alive long enough to summon one of you guys back in. Got one minute. Eh? Excited for the new war bond. Yeah, I really, I, I really do want to try and start playing this game more and like catch up with some of you guys and, and just play with you all more. Cal, you especially, since like. We've been like looking for a game for us to play together, and then Elsa Tyler. This is a game you and me can play together. But Elsa Tyler, I do got to get you over here in person so you can be on uh, on the stream for us to do Sifu. Because I, I I can't I'm tr like truly oh my god big one all right well <laughs> well he got me. Waiting on new content, though. <laughs> Just waiting for more stuff to come in. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> and we're down. 
Yeah, I got nothing left to unlock. Yeah, I just maxed everything out. Damn, because I feel like the game has not been out that long, but you, yeah, you really maxed it out quick. I, I, that, aside from some silly banners. Sure, sure. I, and I, I'm over here, like, I feel like I haven't unlocked anything. <laughs> Stick in the paint. Oh, uh, Horton, by the way, to uh, call back to what you were talking about earlier, do you know when you will be uh, uh, doing that Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 watch party? Uh, not a clue. Um, I've got my daughter until this coming Saturday, um, so I think it, would, it should hopefully be within the next couple of weeks that we, uh, we sit down and um, kind of hopefully start going through Season 2. Because I think the first day we started watching season one, we managed to mash through 14 episodes in the first sitting. Nice, that's awesome. Oh yes, yeah. uh, Tyler, absolutely. We'll go. We'll go down a difficulty. Because I, I, yeah, we're if we're if we're all having trouble with it, then 100. percent Let's go down a difficulty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I mean, if, if you're if you're that far ahead of us and we're having trouble, then uh, then yeah, it's it's necessary. Uh, let me see here. Oh, uh, we were uh, we've been doing we've been on challenging. Uh, let's see, can I? How do I lower it? I like, okay, can't just press side. Can't just press to the side to. Oh, are we technically in? Oh, is oh, oh weird. Oh, yep, okay. <laughs> so I jumped over to... Okay, so, Horton, uh, if you can see the stream, I jumped over to uh, Tyler's... Um... I didn't mean to. I thought I was the ship lead, and that Horton and Tyler jumped to my game, but for some reason... Uh, so I, I don't know how that happened. I, I, I honestly don't know how that, that happened, but... Uh... For for whatever reason, yeah, that 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 random person became ship lead. I I, I truly do not know uh, how that went down. Uh, but also, Tyler, um, let me see here. Can should uh, can let's see? Can Horton just join from there? Can he just can he just join in from here? Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. All right, so now now we're in uh, in Tyler's ship, and he's he's now that he he's in, he can be in charge and know and uh, actually alter the difficulty and stuff. Hell yeah! Oh, did I click? Did I click when I searched for a random game? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. So. <laughs> <laughs> I press button. Stuff happens. I press buttons and stuff happens. That's where we're at. <laughs> I know, and afternoon tune, I don't know if you're still there, but uh, if you do want to join in and jump on the stream and play around with us, you are also more than welcome to. It okay. <laughs> Smiley face. Let's see. Oh god, I really do love that rocket launcher shot. Let's take that and then Yeah. Oh, we 
got a. F we do have a fourth person in there. But yeah, Cal, we we did very unintentionally, but we did. <laughs> Oh, did Tyler? Did you kick him out, <laughs> or did they just leave on their own? I was gonna, I was gonna say I was gonna try and get Afternoon Tune in here to play with us, but uh, he might just be too busy. Click. <laughs> yeah, click. <laughs> just gonna wait here patiently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll let, uh, Tyler knows his way around to this way better than I do, so I'll, I'll let him decide on these things. Yeah, yeah kick. Yeah. If you see, Tyler, if you do see the, uh, the username Full Metal, uh, uh, click in. Uh, that that is uh, afternoon tune. If that if that happens, I don't know if he will join, but he might. Just figured I'd give you a heads up of what the username is, so you know it's the right person. Or shit, Cal in the chat. If you decide you want to join him, um, you'd also be welcome to be on the stream too. Uh, although I'm assuming you're probably at work and can't do that, so. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I will do that, Tyler, for sure. He also hasn't gotten back to me about whether he even wants to, so he may not join in. <laughs> he, he may not even actually be part of it or not. Uh, oh, oh, if, uh, if he, uh, if he, uh, if he does come in, I'll give you a heads up before it happens. Dang it. Oh, oh wrong button. There we go. Get my anti tank shit. Cool. Always the first thing is the backup weapons. That is good advice. <laughs> Oh no, Tyler! We're gonna have to figure out a time uh, for you to for you to be able to come by and for us to not only to stream but also just to hang out. Got I gotta finish that last season of Attack on Titan still too. I have sniper. Hell yeah! Also, that uh, Tyler, that laser gun you have is fucking badass or dr laser drone. Like, that shit's awesome. I do legitimately think that I'll end up getting, uh, actually trying to do a lot of the unlock a lot of the stuff in this. Mm -hmm. You can introduce him to your new favorite anim anime, Hunter Hunter. Dude, fuck, uh, no, fuck Hunter Hunter, dude, I, I swear to god. The re the afternoon tunes review is gonna get thumbs down on YouTube for how much I don't like the show. <laughs> nah, that's a way. Which is funny because like the vast majority of the things I've reviewed for for afternoon tune have I've I've had at least. A mildly positive opinion on, if not like very positive. It's not been a lot of stuff I've disliked, but this one, man, oof. It's driving me crazy. That review will be like when. You, uh, oh, what's up? I was gonna say because you were you were very very surprised that you enjoyed um, 
uh, Dragon Ball Z bro uh, Super Broly, weren't you? Yeah, I was actually I was surprised at how much I enjoyed that movie. I, I was like, and because I try to go everything I you know that I'm gonna do a review for. I try to even if I am not a fan of something like Dragon Ball Z, I'm not a big I'm not really into. But I yeah. still was like, let me go in with an open mind and like give it a chance. And I ended up enjoying that movie. I think it's because it wasn't allowed to have filler, and it was like, all right, you have an hour and forty minutes, get to the point cut that filler crap out. I think that's part of why I, I liked it. Are we shooting this satellite? Um, the review will be like when someone gives the Zelda game an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I know, and then the whole internet just freaks out about it. My my, hunt, my my low score for Hunter Hunter will get all the Hunter Hunter stands like flocking and hate commenting on Afternoon Tunes YouTube channel. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I, I tried. I went into Hunter Hunter with an open mind too. I did not say, uh, you know, I'm ready to dislike this right out of the gate. I was like, hey, let me give it a chance. I really liked Yu Yu Hakusho, which is by the same guy. So, like, you know, maybe maybe I'll be surprised by, by how this plays out. And then at every turn, I just continued to dislike it and, and feel nothing and get nothing from it. And... Ooh, I'm in the wrong place. Oh god, I'm all slow. Oh, I'm slow. Because of the puke. I'm also really happy that the in-game chat worked so easily for us this time, because we have struggled oh, with yeah. that on uh, the Evil Ted game. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what was going on with that. I think that game just didn't have very good in-game chat, I guess. And this is just a much better... Yeah, it, it did not. Of course, eventually we'll do it with the Discord uh, version, and uh, yes. that'll, that'll just solve a lot of problems, but... Yeah... At least this game did a really good job of tuning that, so that it wasn't an issue. Oh, yeah. Can I pick this up for now? Oh, I guess I'm full up already. Freedom requires firepower. All their little one-liners are funny. Oh, God. Let's see. Oh, fire tornadoes. Oh, no. Ah, oh, fire tornadoes. I don't know. I'm just gonna be. I'm just really excited to be done with Hunter Hunter and be able to watch different things and review. And not that we had, we've been reviewing other stuff too, this whole time. But I just, I just, I want it out of my life, man. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I, want, I don't want to think about it anymore. Fucking hell. Apologies. Oh, you're good, you're good. Grenades for everyone. Alright. Oh, we need launch codes now, okay. You'll be thinking about that lobster trapped in an elevator for the rest of your life. <laughs> There was just an episode where a lobster was stuck in an elevator for a while. Like, what the fuck is that? Oh, 
Oh shit. Uh, can I? Shit, can I get through here? No. Okay. I was trapped on the other side of that area. So, whatever. I'll, I'll just die and then come back. It's fine. It's fine. I just, the lobster stuck in an elevator, the whole episode spent on explaining how eBay works. I just, the weird pregnant ant porn that showed up. I, like, what? Like, I don't know, man. I've got a lot of issues with this show. Oh, you know, uh, I haven't watched it yet, but uh, an obscure anime that I've discovered recently that I'm trying to find uh, a way to watch it. It's called The Tree of Palm. Have you ever heard of this? No. Oh, God, right in the fire. I, I, I just respawned in the fire. <laughs> that fire was not there when I threw down the reinforcement pod. I failed <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, that, that works better that time. Um, yeah, so Tree of Palm, I discovered, it's animated. Uh, it was directed by this guy. Uh, I forget his name now, but he was part of the animation team for Akira and for Nausicaä, okay. the Valley of the Wind. Uh, and then he went and directed right. his own move the so his own movie uh tree of palm which is this like dark horror fantasy interpretation of like pinocchio okay uh the only scene i've seen of it is like a lenny from mice and men killing a rabbit type moment uh, oh where it's like it's like it's like the Pino or palm it's not even the character's not even called pinocchio in the story but Palm, like, kills this baby reindeer and then, like, is, like, like, is, like, freaking out. It's, like, it's, like, that thing where it's, like, he didn't understand what death was until that moment kind of thing. Oh, yeah. It, it looks interesting, wow. though. Hmm. It looks dark and sad, but interesting. Yeah. I do like interesting. And then I'm also looking to try and watch this anime movie, Metropolis. I don't know if you've heard of this one. No. It gave Bambi what he deserved. <laughs> Ulysses out here putting out the anti-Bambi campaign. <laughs> uh, but no, Metropolis is interesting. It looks interesting. It's like this cyberpunk dystopia thriller thing. Um, came out in 2001, I want to say. And, uh, it, it, like, I mean, like, the, you go watch the trailer on YouTube for it, it's like, it's like James Cameron is talking about it, like, all these, like, big Hollywood directors and creators. Um, okay. and it seems like it was actually kind of big when it first came out, and then maybe faded into obs somewhat obscurity and kind of a modern, uh, sense. Did you know there's a Godzilla versus Bambi? It's as short as it. There's a Godzilla versus Bambi? What the fuck is that about? Godzilla versus Bambi. Godzilla, what, just steps on Bambi? Like, what the fuck? It, how, how it's... When you say short, is it, like, 30 seconds? <laughs> oh, shit, we lost Horton again. Well, he'll probably be back in a moment. I'm sure it was just a connection issue. Eh? Ah! Oh god. Yeah, right, and a bunch of bug goo. I 
do wish th that the sprint was a different button other than clicking the stick in, I get uh, that's one thing, is because I... Oh god. Hey, Horton's back. We've... Oh, I, I'm, 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 I mean, I'm trying. <laughs> Zigzag. I... I, I try to zigzag. Sometimes I zig and then don't zag, but, you know. But. Hey, we got Horton back. Hey, how's it going? Connection issue again, I'm assuming. Yeah. Like, absolutely nothing. We're still killing bugs and everything, but you two were jogging on the spot. Try spinning. That's a good trick. God damn it. <laughs> We're fucking Phantom Menace. Uh, oh, yeah, that's going to be exciting, though. We're... Uh... We're we're a chunk, good chunk into the Last of Us too. I'd say after tomorrow we'll be pretty pretty far in it. Um, and once we finished streaming the Last of Us two on the Tuesday show, we are going to be moving over to the PlayStation One Phantom Menace tie-in game, mostly to to mostly to torment Alex. I had that game on PS One. How how uh, how was it? From what I remember as a kid, I loved it. Saying that, being an adult, I have no idea how it's going to be. Well, here's a here's a thing that uh, might actually put the game in a positive light. It lets you GTA style murder NPCs with no consequences. I think I remember that. Uh... <laughs> The character just screaming grenade was hilarious. Yeah. That was amazing. Oof, there we go. Oh boy. God. Yeah. Try spinning. That's a good trick. God, I hate that movie, man. If I if I was to make the a top ten worst films of all time, I Phantom Menace would absolutely go on it. Tornado. Uh -oh. Again. Uh -oh. I wonder what the other uh, weather elements are because I remember reading about. Um, I thought I remember reading something about like thinking like the fire tornado was only one. Yeah. Of a of a couple different ones, but so far today we've only seen fire tornadoes and like nothing else. Yeah. It's painful. Do we know where the launch codes are? Or to um, actually go get them, or are we... This way? I take I... you to Hoth. <laughs> Is there a Sharknado? <laughs> that would be hilarious if one of the random weather effects uh, you could just randomly spawn into the game was a Sharknado. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I'd replace the sharks with bugs, though. True, it could be a bug, Nato. Yeah, yeah, I'm still for it. Yeah, yeah, honestly, why not? <laughs> oh, is, is that one? 
Oh, that's dead already. Okay. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Tyler did it. Okay. See what else has been new. What else has happened this week? Well, it's been interesting. Um, hmm. yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, I continue to have. I continue to be really, really, really enjoying the X Men ninety seven. That I like. Oh, I think yeah. that is. It's. I think it's so fun. It's so good, man. So now that you've uh, you've gotten further than uh, was it one episode was it? Uh, let's see. Uh, right as of right now, there's been four. Nice. And I think uh, it's Wednesday, so we're all, almost at the fifth one. You want to take that? Oh shit! Oh, oh wow! Okay, cool. Hell yeah. Sick. Thank you, Tyler. Um, yeah, man, I'm loving X Men '97. I'm I'm fucking loving it. It's so good. I it's like it's everything I've wanted from the X Men franchise for ever. For so yeah, just for so long, man. It's it's for for quite some time. I. I I've been like, this is what I wish they would do in the movies. No, oh, that's good. Like, I want to, I, I want to see an X Men movie so badly, where uh, Bojo is the villain in a live action movie. Mm. Do you know that character? What was it again? Bojo. No, I don't. Bojo actually. is like an intergalactic, like like tv producer that like kidnaps the x-men and like tra traps them in like a in this like it's almost like the interdimensional cable rick and morty oh god <laughs> but it, but like the it's the x-men being trapped by this like horrible disgusting alien tv producer oh god and it's 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 fucking great <laughs> that sounds fucking crazy and the thing is that X-Men gets so much weirder than you ever got to see. I mean, X-Men do all sorts of stuff in space. Not one of the... In the 30 years Fox was... Well, yeah, al almost 30, 20 years, I guess, that Fox was making live-action X-Men movies. There was never one time where we, we set a movie in space. No Star Jammers, no Shi'ar Empire. The Phoenix adaptations they did do were fucking you know, never, never particularly interesting. Get ready to duck, okay. But the movies gave us Apocalypse app absolutely reaming Professor X. That's also, yeah. Oh, yeah, because the blowback from the nuke. I'm pretty sure that's what killed me last time. Countdown in 30. All right. Two. Oh. God, seriously, the, the way you can turn and still fire your gun when you're on the floor, it reminds me of Max Payne 3 so much. Mm. Like, it, it was such a Max Payne 3 vibe. God, I got it. We got we to stream Max Payne 3 on the channel uh, still, because uh, Ulysses uh, still hasn't actually gotten to see really play Max Payne 3.
Hell damn. Yeah. We did it. We were actually going to accomplish a successful mission. At least it looks like. <laughs> the, the dukes are so intense. Oh shit. Damn, this gun is badass, Tyler. This is a badass gun. Down to just my little pea shooter for ammo now. Didn't mean to throw that grenade. Whoa! Yep, I, I think that was me. It was. <laughs> it's alright. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Democracy has landed. Oh, I think this yeah. is the longest I've stayed alive in a while. Maybe the whole time I've played this game is the longest I've stayed alive in one go. <laughs> Let's see, and I think it's almost five, so I think uh, at the end of this match, I think, is we'll, where we'll probably wrap the stream up. Yeah, yeah. I also totally need some resupplying here. <laughs> There we go. Hell yeah. But yeah, Ulysses, that uh, Apocalypse <laughs> Professor Xavier sex scene is still the weirdest moment in the X-Men franchise, that's for sure. Oh, God. It's just when you, if you pause it at just the right moment, that is exactly what it looks like is happening in that movie. Oh, God. I don't think I still haven't seen one of the the last ones. Ooh. Uh, I mean, there's there's very really not much to get out of it. Hey, there you go. We got now. We all got one. Hell yeah, laser drone. Tyler just setting us up for success here. Yeah, honestly, you're not missing much if you don't watch those X Men movies. Um. God damn! 
I just got my head caved in by the fucking rock I went into. <laughs> I think you can pick up the backpack off the ground, too. Oh, nice. So you, you can just pick it right back up? Where did I? Oh, wow, I literally died here. There it is. That's the same I movie did. where Magneto gets a pass on mass murder. Yeah, yeah, like fucking Magneto actually causes far more of the actual damage to the world in X-Men Apocalypse. If, if, and then, a, but like, they're all just like, oh, but Apocalypse told him to, so it, we can forgive him. <laughs> and there's just like, there's like, okay, what, what, how, how, how is, how are you guys just okay with this? I mean, I feel like he doesn't need to be told to uh, cause massive destruction. Just because. I haven't thrown one in a while. Why not? Just yeah. just to do it. Yeah. If I kill something awesome, if I don't, eh. Orbital strike. I love how you can still see the, like, remnants of the nuke blast, like, in the distance. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. But yeah, this will. Yeah, we'll wrap up with this uh, this match here. Horton, yeah. thank you as always for oh, for yeah. streaming with me. Uh, it's been yeah, awesome. Dude, thank you for having me. It's good to good to get back and do it do it on an actual Monday again. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, this has been awesome. I really am enjoying this game, um, and I I look forward to doing more of this. Uh, and also, Tyler, thank you for coming and playing with us and being on the stream, uh, what, even though we couldn't uh, hear your voice directly. This was like yeah. a huge, nice surprise to have you in here. And also for carrying us. I hope your back doesn't hurt too much. It's been, it's been a pleasure being carried. <laughs> yeah, just can't, I hope your back doesn't, like, uh, isn't breaking from carrying us through these matches. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I'll, I'll bring him a proper backpack next time. And Ulysses, thanks for hanging out in the chat. My back hurted. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ulysses, thanks for hanging out in the chat. Tyson Fox in the chat. Afternoon Tune showing up in the chat. Uh, chat was active today. Cal being in the chat. Cal for making all of those emotes for us. And then let's see, uh, let's see, we could raid somebody here. Yeah, I'm actually not really seeing anybody for a raid, but uh, if anybody in the chat has a suggestion, uh, feel free to put it in. Otherwise, uh, we'll just end today. But yeah, I'll, I'll give it like 30 seconds. If nobody puts anything in the chat, then uh, yeah, I'll just wrap up. I'd like to send a raid to somebody, but... Let's see. Uh, let me let me go. Let me see. Look through further down the list. Maybe maybe there's still somebody. Oh, well, okay, okay. I, ha I actually I do have one. I do have one we could do. Right over to Dom, who's he's playing near replicant, which I have not played. I um, played either of them. I played the uh, automata, and I actually really ended up liking it. Okay. But uh. Uh, I, but the, the, the two near games also take place like 10,000 years apart from each other. Um, so I feel like you could kind of play the second one without playing the first one and vice versa. Like, not that there's nothing to be gained from um, playing both or playing them in the right order, but I feel like you I feel like you could I feel like you can get away with playing them out of order, in my opinion. Um that's just me, though. But I, I want to play... I'll, I'll probably... I do want to probably play Atomata on stream at some point. Um, yeah. 
And, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right out here. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us. And we'll see you all next time. Uh, actually, see you you'll see me at the afternoon tune at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time tonight. Hmm.